customers, thank you for contacting Telecom Rela. To proceed with the event, we invite you to repeat after the beat. You have selected the event. To select Man of War of Steel's event, shout Joey D. Mayo. Steel's event. To select Nano War Steel's event for tonight, shout IKEA.
good because we are fucking old and bored and we want to go back home as soon as possible. So at least someone, some of us is having fun tonight. And it's not the person, it's not us on stage. Anyway, so we decided as Network of Steel, well you might know, who, first of all, who was here last year at the Analog Club? So you didn't really have anything better to do than to come back once again to see us in one year. Wow. We are really sorry for your lives, but anyway, you came here, you paid the ticket, let's make something out of tonight, right? Let's make... So you might mistakenly think that Nightmare of Steel is an idiotic band full of stupid stuff and comedy and that's all, right? That's not what it is. We are a very highly educated band and we came all the way from Italy to here to teach you things tonight. And the first thing you're gonna learn tonight is some Italian with us. Maybe you know the word you're gonna learn right now. Maybe you heard it before. Yeah. You're gonna know the name of the most dangerous and genocidal bird in the history of dangerous birds. And this name is Barbagiani. then I, like too much noise makes me paranoid. But anyway, the first thing is you, you learn tonight is Barbagiani, which means bar no. The second thing is you learn to fly with us. And probably some of you learned last year. How do you fly? So you need to raise your wings to the sky. Show me your wings, Budapest! And now that you know the secret word, we will be able to fly all together to Italy flapping our wings together and singing Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni Oh yeah, let's fly to Rome, yeah Let's go without paying anything, yeah Barba Gianni, Barba Gianni Okay, but stop because otherwise you fly to Naples and then you get robbed and it's not worth it The next song is called Il Cacciatore della Notte I'm 
crashing one against the other. It's very painful, very tough. We don't like it because we are all metal heads and we should love each other, not fight each other. That's why we, as Nanowar still have invented the world of love. It's quite similar to the world of death, but instead of crushing each other, hurt each other, we give hugs, we give kisses. And maybe sometimes we touch the testicles. Just in, in a friendship way. So this is because we don't we don't want you to get hurt in any way. And and uh, I mean the world of love have a, a should I say a, like a, a way to say like world of love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Me and Poto Wodomima are going to perform for you the world of love. If you don't know how to do it, you have to watch it, you have to learn it, and then you are going to repeat it. Okay? Great!
Our next song is a serious song, you know. Sometimes it happens that you just go out of your place uh, searching for a club or a venue to find some girls or some guys to have, you know, some sex affair with. And then, yeah, and then you, you find that club and you see that it's empty. You see that, well, it's nothing but a graveyard and then you leave. And then you'd be wrong because it's in the graveyard that the fun begins. Let me explain, yes. Yes. I have always been in love with Whitney Houston. She's so hot. Not so hot right now, but still. The point, the point is that Whitney Houston can't say no. Yeah, we're not endorsing necrophilia, by the way, but it's just tell them, yeah, tell them. So, you know that Nano, I, I was telling you before, Nano World of Steel is a very highly educated band and we are here to teach you science, right? Yeah, yeah you, you're laughing, I, I've got a fucking PhD, so the thing is, science and in specific biology tells us that when you're dead you cannot say no. So, this is a basic fact of science that we're teaching you tonight, so please, 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 let's all together thank science. Science! That's pretty much the substance of it. Yeah, on this topic, we recently published a paper whose title is What happens in the graveyard stays in the graveyard. And if you want, you can join our secret society, not so secret from now on, called Skull and Boners. Well, as you have, maybe you have guessed, the next song. We've written this song for those who don't want to fuck cool people, but cold people. And it's called Disco Metal.
talking about graveyard. I was having sex in a graveyard. In a, in a tomb. tomb. In a dead body. And suddenly, I started to hear a voice calling me outside the graveyard. And I got scared. And the voice was like, Mr. Balfour! I want to have sex with you! You are so beautiful! And I was like, I know! But who are you? Show me who you are! And she told me, come outside the graveyard! I want to have sex with you! I, I mean, I was so horny. And I was also tired about squishy bodies. So, I came outside the graveyard and I saw a beautiful silhouette in the fog. And I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Then I started to watch this silhouette, but something was wrong. There was something wrong. I mean, it was not so beautiful. I was astonished when I discovered that she was a heart of stone. And, and closely, she looked like the rock. But I had sex with her anyway. And I'll tell you why. I had sex with her Is. And then I noticed that she was a cardboard. Light up your cell phones and make some atmosphere, right? I want to see some lights waving. Yes, like that, please.
disco metal shit or whatever and like you're going to do even in this next one but this song is very special it's a special song especially for me because I wrote it in the last year it's not true but I wrote it in the last year and the last year has been a very tough a very dark a very sad year for me I could say I could say that the last year has been the winter of my life thank you I had to struggle a lot until I met one guy that brought summer back to my life. And this guy is Birdzum. So I want everybody here to scream the name Birdzum, Birdzum. Okay, okay, okay. So now that we got banned from Facebook, we can talk about it. This guy saved my life and brought back summer and sunshine to my life telling me just three words of wisdom and the three words are to bring back summer in your life first you need to spend your time with some friends all right yeah all right second dedicate some time to your family and third burning churches Sunshine and summer came back to my life. You can see me smiling now. So I wrote this song about it. Whose name is Norwegian? No, I didn't hear you. Norwegian! Uh, Metalhead screaming for reggaeton.
because this is false metal and we are all supposed to be true metal heads here and actually, yeah, yeah because I mean, you, we are getting old, we are old and when metal heads get old they become metal boomers we are, we are this kind of metal heads that prefer Metallica in 1922 we are this kind of metal heads that prefer when Iron Maiden was singing with Paul McCartney and you know why? Because we are a Metal Boomer Battalion! Now, now, the Metal Boomer Battalion is our club. is our club for only true, extremely true metalheads. And if you want to join the true metalhead Metal Boomer Battalion club, it's very easy. It's like converting to Islam. When you convert to Islam, you say a word. Well, there's a, there's a formula that I'm not going to say here because I want to leave, so... I'm just making this as an example. You say some magic words and you suddenly become a Muslim. Same thing here. You repeat. There are some actions that you pledge to do. There are some words that you need to say. And then, and then you become a member of the Metal Boomer Battalion. Now, now, the three things you need to do in order to become a member of the Metal Boomer Battalion is we fight online, unfollow, and unsubscribe. And now we will scream all together these words, right? Are you ready? We fight online, unfollow, unsubscribe. We fight online, unfollow, unsubscribe. We fight online, unfollow, unsubscribe. We fight online, unfollow, unsubscribe.
song. And it's we get inspired by a, um, a, a British heavy metal band, which is called Iron Maiden. And we have tried to blend our uh, their best of the piece, the best of the beautiful song that they have. We have tried to blend all of them into one song, and the result is amazing. People told us that we made the lyrics with chat GPT-4 But that's not true Because, because we used Google Gemini No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We used chat GPT 3.5 because we didn't have money And, you know, the title is very simple and very effective the song is called Afraid to Shoot to the Eyes of a Stranger in a Strange
Jatuh Jatuh Jatuh, please, please stop it I'm introducing the new song No, no, but the song is longer Yes, but it's boring, it's so sad. Yeah, no, but they, they paid to hear the version that we put on Spotify, so What the fuck, we should I play the whole song I, I don't think it's a, it's a proper idea, no, no Let me, let me introduce the next song, okay? So, the next song is a true heavy metal song A true heavy metal song Abdul? There's, a, there's something you want to tell me? About the last song and the next song? No? Thank you. So, the next song is a true heavy metal song. A true heavy metal song, but no, fuck you all! sake of art okay so as I was saying the next song is a true heavy metal song about true heavy metal people like you a true heavy metal song The next song is a true heavy metal song about true heavy metal people like you at true heavy metal shows raising their true heavy metal arms up in the air spreading the smell across the land The song is called Armpits of Immortals And it's a danceable song If you don't know how to dance it, let me teach you with four easy steps First of all, raise your left arm for the sweat glands and then raise your right hand for the talk then shake it to spread the odors mamma mia <laughs> no you don't have to do that I'm Italian I can't do that this is cultural appropriation what? please get him out well what am I saying? security I'm triggered what I was saying, shake it, and then a double clap to kill mosquitoes. Well, let's do it again faster. One, two, three, four, four. 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 You are too slow, so we're gonna play it slower. And playing it slower is for loser. Remember it, especially you, the fake Italian. So next song.
explore a new sense of humor, to seek out puns and ha ha ha, to find a joke that no man has made before. place 
It's a place where you go after you die. It's a place. It's a place where you go. It's a place where you go to talk with Odin. You go there. Wait, wait, wait. You go there even to talk with your dead ancestors. You go there and fight a never-ending battles with your fellow Vikings. But moreover, you go there and you don't pay taxes! So this place has a very special name that starts with the letter L. So I want everybody here to scream and raise your L to the sky! Alright, and scream the name of the place. Where's this place? Is no, I didn't, I didn't hear. Where is it? All right, now that you got it, it's Liechtenstein. Keep on, keep on having the, the L raised up in the sky. And let's sing all together the word Principality of Liechtenstein in the typical Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein in German language. That is Fürstentum Liechtenstein. So I want everybody here, raise your L in the sky and scream with me. Fürstentum Liechtenstein. Otherwise comes the police. So, before, before starting this song, let me just tell you the last thing, that one Liechtenstein plus another Liechtenstein is life. So, let's sing all together, hey, two, Liechtenstein! Just 
merchandise is producing using his hair. Bam! Including the pink t-shirts that come from another part of the body, but that's another story. So let me hear a voices again screaming for Mr. Mohammed Abdul! And now you see, they're far behind the drums. You know that scientific experiments sometimes can result in some very dangerous things like uh, in Wuhan. Uh, but in this case, we had, we had the audacity of mixing the DNA of a bee and the goalkeeper of Borussia Dortmund. And we got the most dangerous human being ever, Mr. Winona Ryder! Now, Winona Ryder is very dangerous because he has a very powerful stick. Show them your stick. Yeah. but very good to play the drums. And the reason why he's a drummer is that we want to keep him as far away as possible because he's very dangerous. Even though he produces very sweet and delicious honey from his bowls. We, you, you, are allowed to you are allowed to taste the honey from his bowls on tap if you want to come in the backstage afterwards, we can arrange it. But before doing that, Please let me hear your voices again for Mr. Winona Royer! Now, now, uh, those of you who follow us on social media know that not so far away, not so long ago actually, we've been to the United States with uh, Dragon Force on tour. And you might think, oh, it's nice because you went there on tour because you wanted to play. No! We were there for science. We were there because we wanted to make the most beautiful and fashionable human being on earth. And to do that we had to go to Hollywood and pick up the DNA of George Clooney and Leonardo DiCaprio. Mix it and make Mr. Buffo! <laughs> Mr. Buffo is the most beautiful, fashionable, incredibly beautiful again man on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And please don't get too wet because we need to move on with the show, but let me hear your voices again for Mr. Buffo! <laughs> and so, talking about beauty and fashion and design and everything that is nice... No, I'm kidding. Huh? We will stop talking about that because now... Sci hands sometimes has some weird aspects. And in this case... We are not talking about beauty anymore, but we are talking about some very incredible transplant that we managed to do. So, this guy here, this thing that you see, Mr. Bodo Wodo Minimac. Yeah. He is actually the result of a very successful transplant of a knee on top of a head. Which has, makes no sense whatsoever, but so is life, so is science. Sometimes you just need to try things, right? But, nonetheless, I want to hear her voices screaming for Mr. Bono Wano Milimak! It makes miracles out of that. Actually, actually, we used to produce our merchandise using his hair, but then it was not so successful. <laughs> we had to cut everything. So, 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 so you may notice that there's one guy, there's one guy missing over there. This guy with the orange hair, he has been part himself of a very special experiment. It was a, a circular experiment, like the one that goes under the ground in Geneva. But this time we're talking about the human centripety. And, and this guy was the last man in the row. So, we gave to it to this to this centripety only oranges and that's the reason why he has this orange hair. So I want a huge scream for Gatto Pancheri 666! Okay, that's enough. And yeah, he has this orange hair. We sell them at the merchandise as well under some tiny boxes under the name of AstraZeneca. So, a huge scream once again for Gatto Pancheri 666! Well, we can't forget to mention our sound engineer right there, Sergente Savia! Scream for him! And 
We ask you gently to sing for him because it's his birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Sergeante Sapia! Happy birthday to you! Yes! Now, let me introduce our light engineer, Lupa! Here behind the stage uh, is our uh, stage technician, and uh, you can see his head right there. His name is Bobo! It, it's not a coincidence, uh, but it's his birthday too. But we don't give a fuck, so let's go on with the show. So, 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 we, we almost ended our show, and before finishing it, we want to celebrate all these birthdays, sharing with you a very special dish that we eat for birthdays. And this dish is the Polenta Taraglio! <laughs> it's a joke.
Well, Budapest. The next song is our last song for tonight. Yes, yes. But don't be afraid. Men or steel can't just leave without saying their prayers. Their prayers to our true metal god, whose name is Odin. So, so you know about Odin? Sure you do. But if you knew enough about Odin, uh, you surely know also that he used to be into that Viking stuff and shit like pillaging, murdering, raping, which is good. But still, he changed his mind and moved to Sweden. And now he works for IKEA, building magical and mighty furniture for all of us. So raise your hand. Everybody in the Monica Lewinsky position. Are you ready? So, let's pray together. Hallelujah!
que yo tengo un perrito y hace cosas muy bonitas cuando se siente contento y mueve la cinturita y las muchas 